and, and my question concerns because the physical body is so massive, particularly for uh, an individual who may have extensive um, physical mobility issues. How how would that purple play energy be applied? All right, the energy of the purple plate is more vibrational than it is anything else. Colors have vibrations as well, but you have not discovered in what way how to measure them in the, an accurate way that can cause you to manipulate the vibration of a color. Do you understand that? Okay, yes. manipulation of color vibrations can be very healing. Let me explain in another way. You see, it's it's so hard to bring it down because they are there's so so much math. Math is the thing that connects everything together with the universe. In fact, the whole universe is an equation. There is no doubt about it in my mind. If you put the universe on a piece of paper, it would have to be an equation. And therefore, this would also be the purple plate would be an equation as well. However, the way that this equation works when healing is that every part of the body has its own equation, its own vibration, its own way of working within the, the uh, realm that it is created within. So therefore, if you take the purple plate and put it into a for healing of a certain kind, then you would match the color and the vibration and then enhance it to include those uh, algorithms and numerical systems that are part of the body. Right. Now, the part of the body that is numerical in the sense that you can break it down into that and the vibration that is part of that will be agreeable with this because you have matched, you have given it something that it can match match up to. Basically, what it does is take the pattern, the blueprint, that's what they call it, the blueprint of the body and bring out the natural and original numerical sequence of how it, how it was in the beginning. And when you do that, it, it takes the numerical system, vibrates it, colors it, and matches it up. Does that make sense to you? Uh, it theoretically it does. How to apply it, I don't know. Yes, the application of it is within the plate itself. So, but you have to know how to energize it, how to uh, work it, and that is something that I would have to come and connect up for you. But I can't do that, of course. <laughs> but um, <laughs> it would have to have some power behind it that initiates uh, the movement, the vibration, and the connection. Do you understand okay. that? Would, yes, and would, now, this, would, that be accessible? They call, would that be accessible would they call through that, meditation? It possibly could if your belief system were strong enough, yes. Also, the Tesla coil does the same thing. It, the Tesla coil is, the, is a, a great, it's a great omni inventor. It's the basis to many, many inventions. It has the intertwined uh, spirals within them. Right. The spirals are um, internally powerful. They, they have an energy of their own that is created like vortexes. They are actually create their own vortexes within vortexes. And so there, the Tesla coil can be the beginning of time travel, the beginning of movement in uh, uh, transporters, mm -hmm. can be the beginning of healing modalities where you take the vibration of one individual and remove the vibration of the illness within them and recreate them in another place. Mm -hmm. the, the Tesla coil has many, many, many uses. So... That is where, um, that is the beginning of many inventions that have not yet, well, they have, many of them are created already, but uh, your government that it is the beginnings of many different beautiful and wonderful and fascinating inventions. In fact, the Tesla coil put in certain um, uh, 
atmospheres of energy, putting them in a sealed energy atmosphere with certain things can create energy that will be sustainable for long periods of time and you could run your whole household for a hundred years and not need to change anything. The light bulbs or anything, I mean, if they were created correctly, yeah. the energy would be consistent for at least a hundred years. The black box, they call it. Do you remember that? Remember my black box? <laughs> but anyway, um, yes, it was... I, I recall, um, so are you suggesting that I, I look, in terms of uh, physical healing, that I look towards the energy of the coil rather than the plate? Yes, the coil is actually more powerful. The plate is useful, though. Don't don't, don't negate it because no, it does um, it does work. It does yeah. have a, a very very positive reaction. Uh, this the coils are used for more things, though. Okay, thank you. And also, I've I've read. I I wish that your ideas had been captured more so than. Einstein simply because I have recently read where our power grids could be more stable and more substantial and last longer just as you have spoken yes. um, if we had done that gone that route actually I, I I don't know if I should say that but it would probably change the world in a way that the monetary system would not be as so influential anymore mm. That would be awesome as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> it was not meant to be for that time. Okay. And also just a comment and perhaps the, um, I guess I'm curious to know if you can comment to my comment of the 139, my son's numbers, everything in his life includes those three numbers at some point uh, and in yes. some fashion. Is, yes. uh, do you know if that is significant to his purpose in being on Earth at this time? The number pi also includes those three numbers in a s certain specific way, in, oh, but in that order, actually. And that portion of pi relates to the universal agreement. And yes, oh. there is a reason why he remembers these numbers and has that particular sequence in mind. That it is very powerful. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate it and thank you for spending time with us today. I'll leave you now so and happy to be turn it back to whoever I, I need to. <laughs> Brian? I have to tell you, I've had some lessons on how to be a little bit more pleasant. Yeah. Yes, I, I've had lessons, they said to me, oh, Nicola, you are just too staunch and too correct. So I, I learned what people are about and learned some very positive lessons about that. And, and so that is why I'm able to be here and speak to you in a, a, a more pleasant way. That's special for me. Well, thank you. Thank you for bringing that that side of you. You're welcome. Thank you. There was someone that's face was there, but they're gone now. Brian. Yes. Hello, Nikolai. How are you yes. doing? Yes. Uh, also, to expand on uh, Joan Lee on her question. Also, uh, I, I do see those inventions, your technologies that you uh, developed a long ago, the theor the uh, your ideas those are going to be manifested on the planet. I do see that in the next 20 to 30 years. And, you know, not really soon, but still a little far out. But they are going to be inventions of that work, really work with the uh, integration of the human body, the human mind, on expansion of consciousness. So these are these devices, they are coming. Yes, they're already here, actually, but they don't know how to use them properly. Some of the some of the scientists do know how to use them and put them into a proper sequence and add to them so that they do the things that they um, they are, they want them to do. But you understand that the coil itself is only the beginning. It's only the actual power source in some ways that that's uh, 
that interwinding spirals in opposite directions create such a, a strong energy field. Now, Nikolai, the funny thing about that is it's just they're using also all these the concepts are really based on nature. Yes. They're really oh, oh, based absolutely. on nature. Just the as spirals. I said, the universe yes. is an the universe is an equation, an algorithm, a whole bunch of numbers that come together in a way that is perfect. So, yes, this earth, everything can be broken into numbers. It sounds rather dull, doesn't it? But it's actually very exciting because if you can manipulate the numbers, you can manipulate the earth in its, in its uh, patterns. You can manipulate anything on earth if you understand its mathematical base and how to manipulate mathematics. Yes, yes. And the other question I had was the Stargate technologies um, with the time travel and other things. Um, even just starting out teleportation, um, how soon do you see where the average human being will be able to use just teleportation around the planet? Are we looking at 40, 50 years from now? It's, it's, you already have it, but okay. it's not being shared with the people. The governments have it already. It's in the your secret space program that teleportation is already in use. You've teleported people to Mars already. So um, it is in use already. Okay. Do you, do you see any projections or anything that will the average person will be able to use it, these? The thing is, it depends on how your future is goes. Okay. There's many different scenarios. You can go this way, you can go that way, you can make this decision, you can make that decision. It could be as soon as 10 years. It could be as many as 14. But 10 to 14 years, there people will know that it exists. Okay, okay. Well, that's all I have. Thank you much, love, my friend. You're welcome.